actually a little bit older than I know you are. I was trying to be nice. Hey, let's go to the bridge. So, so, can God truly not know something See how he wants to while he knows it out. already? He, he, he can no, not know something if that's his will because love dictates to him because For he is love. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's all. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit um, confused here. I'm like now age 75, right? Okay. Can God truly not can, can God truly not know something when He knows it already? You say if He wills to, then He can be not knowledgeable of the subject matter. So now you're saying God can exercise His will. In, in expression only. So yes, that, that, that's all. Don't interrupt. God. No, you heard. The, that's the answer. In expression. That's all. I already answered that. Excuse He's me. saying he, 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 he gave you an answer. answer. Man's sorrow, but might be 85 right? in, in mental so, capacity. So you got to say over and over again. You're saying God can exercise His will on His attribute of knowledge. Like if God. Wait, what? He didn't say that. He didn't say that. If God, he didn't say that. Will, <laughs> let me ask you. Confirm or correct me. If God so wills, He can truly not know something while knowing it. What does knowledge mean, by the way? Do you agree? Well, what does knowledge mean? That's a question. Do you agree? God, if so, let's define terms. Will by Himself, He can truly not know something while He knew it already. Because now we're in philosophy. Yeah. Let's define terms. Um, temporarily, He can unknow something through Christ, His expression. The Father Himself. The Father individually, can he truly not know something if he wanted to, why he knew it already? That's why there's more than one aspect. I'm talking about the Father in mind. Specific question, poses it slowly. The Father has seen the question over and over again. He's the answer. Oh, yeah, he, he basically is. He should have asked a philosophical question. He's looking for a specific answer. So, okay. the Father, <laughs> yeah. Father has will and the Father has knowledge, right? He, basically, he, he believes Can in a God that wears a headscarf. So, so truly that's, that's not a. Know something if he saw uh, that's how far you're going to go with him. To know while he knew it already. What does knowledge mean? That's what I want to know. Because you keep saying no, no. What does that mean? What does it mean? This is what they confuse. When they what does knowledge mean? If it's shattered, they go to Jordan Peterson. I don't think uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. What does what knowledge uh, mean? That's like our neck is going in this guy's head huh? line. We were having a nice discussion. You're getting in my way. Move to the side or something. Look what happened. There's, there's so, an empty this, space this, over that uh, side. Friend of yours, mm -hmm. he, he's put in a few two cents. He has. So he's let me put in a couple. Exactly. Right, I'm heckling because I'm asking you what knowledge means. And then we will say... Sorry, I, I, I didn't get your name. Uh, I'm David, by the way. Ken. Don't go away. Yeah, yeah, well, 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 so Ken. Ken. Oh. If he yep. so will, uh -huh. to go against his nature of all knowingness and become less than all what, what does nature mean, exactly? Can he do that? And what does all knowingness mean, too? All knowing is the nature of God. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, what does nature mean, first of all? Do you agree or do you disagree? <laughs> What does nature mean? Because like, what do the terms that mean? Thing. That's what I want to know. It doesn't appear to be very much God's nature, but it does it because... It's being unknowledgeable the nature of God. Okay. What does nature mean? That's what I want to know. I would say define what terms that are uh, less on less understand what it what means. What does that mean me? No, this is we're, we're using key terms here. Nature no, and all knowingness. What do those mean? I'm wondering your definition yeah, of what knowledge like means. No. No, no, no. When I ask him about basic terms, like what does nature mean? What does this mean? Yeah. Excellent. Tell him that. What does nature mean? Well, tell him that. What's your question? Saying, Sorry? What does nature mean? What's your question again? Huh? So my question is Human. A, a, a living creature. Do you agree? Made in the image of God. That's what it means. What's nature? How That's what I want to Oh no, man, so you're, you're done already? Read the Quran. Oh, please don't do that. It's, it's the worst of your time. <laughs> and that's even worse. I have a channel called Dawa Wise. I don't have a question. I have a channel called Dawa Wise. Can you see that? Can you go, go? <laughs> so, so, so far, knowledge and nature. We need to know what these terms mean. But Manso can't define them for us because he's just going to say things. I mean, for example, is it in Allah's nature to, to keep me breathing even though I, I don't like him? Is that his nature? What does nature mean? There you go. Yeah. Subscribe, everyone, because there are unique, exclusive content that you can find every channel that you're watching other than that. So,
So let's just be Also subscribe to give Mansour more money because <laughs> he yeah. needs it. He needs to get to a dermatologist. Every time I see him, the liver sauce just keep growing in size. <laughs> Let, let, let him do his thing, man. Just put an M A N S U R. That's one way to remember the name Mansour. If, if the other way, you will somehow have a different Mansour Al Dijal. Yeah. But that's him right there, man. Sorry? Uh, on the internet, sure. The, 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 the translations these guys have are incorrect. Yeah. Well, like, like, so sometimes the, the, in the translation, it will call the spirit of Allah, the angel of Allah. And that's, that's the same thing. And a good amount of hate speech too. It's also there. The Whoever chooses any other religion, Islam, pastor, whatever, American pastor. In the hereafter, they will be the losers. So now, as I told you, Islam is the only way acceptable to God. Well, actually, it's only Christ because without Christ, the way is just in the life. You can't get to the Father. So Islam can't get you there because it's inherently Antichrist. One and only true God. Yeah, yeah, so the Father, Son, and Spirit. So close enough. Which is to believe in the Son. Right. Right. Okay. Hey, if, if, you, if you don't mind, uh, I, I'd like okay. to clarify nice. some things. Hi. Yep. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. What was your yep. name again? I think you were Ahmed. What's your name, my friend? Ahmed. I heard about it. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, sir, your name, I, I didn't get that. Uh, uh, Rick. Rick. David, how you doing? David? Yeah. Oh, I like the name. No, no, th thank you, thank you. Beloved. R R R Beloved, exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Well, uh, Rick, what you just saw over there is uh, we have our friend Mansour. So Mansour tends to do the same thing every week. That's Man no. Man Mansour. Yeah. That's the guy I like. Yeah, 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 Mansour. Same thing every week. I didn't. I was talking to his Ahmed. Yeah. And all of a sudden he came in and yeah. he just started debating with me, and then all of a yeah. sudden there's about 20 people. Around. Yeah. yeah. That's how they do things. But, but it, it's okay. Whenever I see it, I, I actually intervene a little bit. Um, but ultimately, they don't really hear concern with truth. Well, he's very smart. Well, no, he's, he's not, um, and he makes my head spin. That's yeah. what they do. That's I, the I don't, the devil. But he won't. Do. But you know, I start to make a point, and then he goes and circles Somewhere me. Around. I forget where I'm at. Yeah. And he never did answer. That it said that uh, every knee shall bow yeah, and every, every tongue, tongue shall confess, confess that, that Jesus, Jesus is the Lord. And I said, how can there be two lords? Yeah. Explain that to me. And yeah. he, he went around yeah. that. And also, in that same passage in Philippians 2, mm -hmm. uh, where it says, um, um, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of okay. God, yeah. did not consider yeah. robbery to be what? Equal yeah. with God. Yeah. But made himself lower no than the yeah. 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 So, Absolutely. so the thing is, is yes, God in the, in the flesh purposely became incarnate. He, he didn't know what, exactly what everything in the future. Right, but well, only an expression because ultimately <laughs> Christ is God and God knows all things. And it's it's in the, yeah, we'll come on the end. However, he didn't express it. Why? Because he gave the parable of the servants um, um, who let their master leave the house and then lacked on their duty. And their master came in and caught them sleeping when they should have been watching for the master to return. So, essentially, if Christ tells you the exact date and time, then for the remainder of uh, so that day, we will all slack. We will be like, like the servants who. who Realize the master was coming, and then we fell asleep, we slacked, and we lost our salvation. So instead, wait on the Lord and carry on to be vigilant for his return is imminent. Well, you know what? Uh, 
Jesus was a baby, and when he was a baby, he didn't know much. Right, but but again, because he was a little baby, but it was in him. It was in him, right? But he wasn't expressing it. Yeah, exactly. I got your point. Exactly. I got your point. Do you? Yeah. So, you know, I didn't even know when I saw a crowd gathering around. He just said, "Who are these people?" It's a setup. It was all the Muslims. Yeah. 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 And I, so, I, I finally realized, oh, it's me against all of them. Yep. Thing. And then when you tell me what yep. you just said, I guess yep. there's a belief on me. Oh, no, no, there, there are. are there, there are Christians around. So, and then there's crazy Christians. Yeah. A couple of them. Uh, if you're angry, and uh, a few of our brothers are, are uh, you know, <coughs> perishing. What? Yeah, a few of our brothers are perishing for the lack of knowledge, unfortunately. But it, it's good that you stuck to your guns. Man stores um, ammo. It's still confused. Good luck. Oh, I stuck to my guns. Yeah, it's good to stuck to your guns. Our, our little friend over there, Man Sore, his main ammo is just to confuse and confound, like the devil, his father. So unfortunately, until he accepts Christ. By the way, I, I did poke him here. You know what I said? Yeah. I said, before he got there, I said, oh, I don't think you have the Holy Spirit in you. Oh, he doesn't know what that is. Yeah. Even though in this Quran, the Holy Spirit actually mentions. I'm not keeping this. Yeah, dust in the trash, if you ask me. Well, I don't uh, want to disrespect him. I don't want to disrespect him. I don't want him to see me doing that. No, you can. There's many trash out there, yeah. But ultimately, it's it's, uh, it, it, it's part of God. It's good for toilet people. I wouldn't even think it's that good, honestly. But uh, essentially, it's, it's not of God. So I considered that. Decided yeah. that. How would you do it? I, I mean, if you'd like, I, I can just return to the table for you if you'd like. Yeah, because you have to see you with us. I'm gonna just call him for now. Okay. Go, go, go I don't want it to sound wrong. Yeah, well, it's okay. He wouldn't realize if you just if I went to the table and put it back There's in. There's a lady that I like. She's real short. Yep. She's going around knocking Islam, and I'm thinking that's not the best approach. I don't think, but whatever. Yeah, I think it, it varies, doesn't it, right? Well, the Bible teaches that we're supposed yeah. to be ambassadors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I so, get the feeling you are. Huh? You well, are. You heckler, you. Yeah, me, me uh, he I'm a heckler for Christ. So, so, so well, you know what? <laughs> you didn't agree with him, so that made yeah. you a heckler, I guess. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, Mansour has his own definitions of things, right? Yeah. He doesn't make anything clear. Everything's like a presumption. Uh, presumption. Uh, and you yeah. know Jesus said about presumption? Mm. He talks about it. He says... You know, people say we're not supposed to judge. That's not true. Yep. The Bible teaches we can judge. Right. There's four rules for not judging. Mm -hmm. And one of them that Jesus mentions, actually he mentions, uh, I, I think, three out of four of them. He said, Be, or do, not, do not judge according Less, yeah. to appearance. That's yep. But judge righteous judgment. So what's righteous judgment? Well, one of them's right in that verse, mm -hmm. not according to appearance, which is presumption. Yeah. In fact, that's the basis. Um, I'm American. Mm -hmm. That's the basis of due process. Mm. Due process is where you have an open mind and, and actually in court and consider all the evidence before making exactly yeah. before you make a judgment. Yep, no, absolutely. Innocent until proven guilty. Yep, yep, absolutely, absolutely. Where are you from? Uh, oh, so I'm Nigerian, ethnically. Nigeria? Yeah, yeah. Oh, ethnically. Ethnically, Where were yes. you born? So, oh, over on your side of the pond, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in New York. Oh, yeah. what are them? Yeah, well, one of those guys. I love New York. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to go back one day. The city? Yeah, yeah city. Yeah, I spent two weeks there with my son. Okay. My wife and I were both there for that visit. You, you seem very, very well versed, more than what I would say the average American is. But like, you have some kind of like a history in ministry or something, or well, I'm not that smart. Okay. I'm not that strong. Okay. I'm not that good looking. However, however, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talented. But Colossians 3:16, the Word of Christ dwells in me richly. Amen. I really got the Word of Christ in me, and also um, a companion verse to it. In fact, they, they have similar things that they say about is in Ephesians 5:18, be filled with the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So I have the Spirit constantly with the Word, and I have. A, well, I don't like to read the Bible. And okay. I, don't, I, 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 I 
I read it right. three times, right. but I love to meditate on, on the word. In other words, I, I take a passage. Yep. I've been taking books and I go, just like a good uh, uh, expository preacher, I go through it, through it in chunks. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that way I get the, the whole meat of, of the word. So that's Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sounds good. Meditation. What, what, what brings you over here? Is this visiting or, or? I've never been to Europe. Okay. And uh, I went to Sarajevo. Okay. This is entirely a missionary trip. Right. Okay. Sarah, because my wife couldn't make it. Okay. If I wanted to go to Paris with her, right? I love my wife. Hey, anyway, as you should. As you should. <laughs> so in Paris or Sarajevo. So what makes you believe? I have missionary friends there. Okay. So I hung out with them the whole time. Okay. And also, uh, I'm a therapist. Okay. So. Good. 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 I don't think so. Is anyone? I just got here on late. Is yeah, just around, around like that area. You and yeah. Uncle Sam, that's yeah. it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I'm not feeling. Okay, let me not use the bathroom. Let me not use the bathroom. Okay. I mean, people come to me, they know that yeah. I'm going to awesome. honor Christ in my therapy. Awesome. And, uh, and we're a minority. Okay. But that's okay, you know, whatever. Anyway, so um, I, I was there to give uh, training communication from a biblical perspective to the missionaries because they needed some help in their interpersonal relationships. Okay, okay, okay. Well, and also reaching out to people. Right. And I put people on the hot seat and all sorts of things. It was fun. And then in, in Paris, so three cities. Paris is the second city. And there I want to go to the cathedrals and just see God because okay. they're beautiful. And but the, the bigger known ones, they were too crowded, and it wasn't a, it was touristy. Mm -hmm. I found one right by my hotel, about a mile away, and a beautiful little church, but it was like a cathedral, it, had, it was gorgeous, and it was quiet, and it was a, place, it was a house of prayer for me. So I spent time seeking God there, and eating good food, and then London, my main thing is uh, evangelistic. So I've been talking to people on the streets and stuff okay. like that. And I'd heard about this corner. Yes. And I was planning to preach. It's a battleground. I was planning to preach. Okay. I was going to preach the greatest sermon out of speech ever. Yep. I, I memorized the sermon out of the mouth. The whole thing. Amen. And I actually went through it one at a time. Okay. But there's so much noise that I'm not a yeller and all okay. that. So um, I just say, yeah, this isn't going anywhere. If you would like, um, so uh, we are a Christian channel. Um, we we actually uh, do upload content where we are actively interacting with people who yeah. don't believe in God or who do believe in God. If you would like, um, we're, we're happy to film you uh, um, preaching the sermon and then post it on YouTube if, if you'd like. And what? We, we can film you uh, doing the sermon and then post it on YouTube and then give you the link and everything if you'd like. That way at least a few people can see it beyond the park. Oh. If you'd like, if you'd like. It'll you take open seven, it takes 17 minutes to go through the whole thing. That's absolutely fine. We can give you a whole video if you'd like. Okay, I'd like to lean against the fence because I'm getting tired. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Please, go, go right ahead.